Hi one goose here with you guys for another video. A lot of you people on Instagram and all my social media platforms have been giving me some ideas on a couple of topics to talk about on my new channel on uh, Fight One Goose. And there's one in particular that I seen that was becoming a common trend, which was uh, for me to talk about my first breakup and how I dealt with it and how it changed me throughout my lifetime um, since the first breakup to where I am now. And honestly, this was one of the biggest things that I kind of didn't want to talk about for a very long time because that was a point in my life where I made a lot of mistakes, uh, a lot of actions that I'm not proud of. But I think it's time, you know, makes 10 years actually, now that we think about it, June 10th. Um, the anniversary is actually April 10th, but you know, due to quarantine and whatnot. But I feel like now is the perfect time because that's a chapter of my life that I want to close. And not to say that I still have any feelings for that person right now, which is not the case. I. Ben got over it maybe about four or five years ago. Um, it was a learning stage. It was a hard phase. Um, it took a lot of things for to get to this point, in other words. So anybody that knows me when I was 13 um, and leading up to whatever happened, is gonna know who. And people that are curious who it is, uh, I'd rather just keep it confidential out of respect to that person. I wanna start by saying um, thank you to that person that has given me the opportunity to grow and an opportunity to kind of build my self-confidence because I once once upon a time, I was just a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, overweight, um, on the verge of being obese. And I was very insecure about myself. Um, there was times where I would come home and people would tell me, dude, you're ugly, who would like you? Um, and it used to get to me a lot. So there was, they, they, every day I look in the mirror and I say to myself, man, am I really ugly? Am, is, am I this kid that people really say I am? And I started believing it. And I remember one day I just said to myself, you know what? I don't want to be insecure anymore. I don't want to feel like people are judging me. I actually want to feel like I'm wanted. So to make the story short, make the story short, I started working out. You know, I started playing soccer, basketball, and I did a lot of fitness. I started eating right. And next thing you know, I was very slim. And that first was the first hint of my, I guess, my goals. Um, then a lot of girls started paying attention to me. And this person in particular, I met her at this, uh, I wanna say like a town hall, party hall, local. Um, I, that was a time where I was, my, my confidence building up, like I thought I was a shit. And all I remember was, um, I guess, Hitting up her cousin and her sister, like, hey, who's that? Like, put me on. They're like, nah, she just came through a breakup. I was like, for real? That's crazy. So, you know, I took a chance myself. I took a risk. I went for it. And next thing you know, it went well. We started talking. Um, if anybody's my age, you know, I'm 25. We used to have um, AIM back in the days, those psychic days. What the hell is even that? Don't ask me what was my, my AIMs. Trust me, you don't want to know. But anyways... <laughs> So got to got her aim. We started talking to aim, and we started opening up to each other. Next thing you know, uh, we went on our first date. I think it was at the mall, and it was um, her cousins, her sister, and we started hanging out. They made us like do like weird stuff. We wasn't even going out at the time. We was holding hands and whatnot. And then after the mall, I asked her out to be my girlfriend, which was still a date I still remember. Um, we started going out. It was great. We had a lot of memories, a lot of profound memories, and during that relationship. Um, I felt like um, I was still trying to figure out myself. Um, there was a lot of things that I wanted to explore. There was still things about me I wanted to learn. And as I say, I'm glad that she helped me grow along the way. But then, you know, I don't know who I was at one point, you know, because everything was focused on her, 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 her. And at the time I needed a break. So I hit her up and saying, you know what, I need a break. And mind you, when you tell a girl, I need a break, <laughs> that's the worst thing you could tell a girl because for them, it's like you're dumping them for real or like, you know, you don't like them no more. And that wasn't really the case at the time. I understand that the circumstances and how those words were misinterpreted. So, you know, I'm very sorry for that. And we broke up. I went to Mexico. I was there a couple of weeks and then whatever. I ain't gonna get into that. But at during that time when I became single, I was mad at the world because I thought that person was gonna understand me. And at the time, I, you know, I thought she didn't understand me. And 
I did my own thing. I started becoming like almost a rebel. I started my ego. My ego started feeding into me. So I was like, oh, I'm this guy. I'm all that. Middle school, going to high school, I get all the girls I want, and I started talking to every girl out there. <laughs> That's I was. I was like a. I don't want to say I was a pimp, but it was always like. I was like a man possessed trying to talk to every girl and whatnot, and you know I, I was in my moments. Um, like every individual should have, um, so I was talking to every girl, and there was just one day I was with this one person, and I started thinking about her, and all I said to myself was, like, "Why do I keep thinking about her? Like I'm with this girl. Like why do I keep thinking about her?" And that's the first day that eventually made me realize that I truly love the girl, and I was in love with her. I was obsessed with her. Whatever. Um, I hit her up. And she told me she was doing fine and whatnot, and that, um, that you know, she was surprised I hit her up after like I think it was like six, eight months. And I told her I'm sorry for everything. If, if there was any ways we could work it out, but she told me she, you know, um, talking to somebody. And at the time, I was like, really, like for real. And you know, she said her things about me. I said to her, and I told her, listen, like we could work this out. And I remember this one time, she said to me, there was a song by Rihanna and Neo. She said, I hate that I love you. And I heard this song, and you know, I'm not gonna lie, it put me to cry. I was upset, and I was still willing to make everything for her. So every night I would think about her. I was like almost depressed because of this one person. Um, I done a lot of things, thinking about like, you know, trying to fight her boyfriend, trying to do things to get her attention, and think. And, and meanwhile, I thought it was gonna better our relationship or friendship, whatever. It just made things worse. Um, it took me to like almost two to three years to understand that, mind you. I, um, I, I was, I was, I was like almost, almost in, a, in an illusion. I was thinking that I was invincible, thinking that I could get this person back. And next thing you know, I did it. And the day that I found out that I, I wasn't gonna get her back was the day, whatever I fought the dude, and in victory or defeat, whatever, like, I felt defeated anyways because the person, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't get the person I want. And that's when everything started, my, my uh, you know, my depression and whatnot. Um, it wasn't easy. There's a lot of, like I said, there was a lot of things that I wish I could take back. Um, and because of that one person, a lot of people along the way from, from 15 to maybe where I am today, didn't have to go through what I put them through. Not that, I did anything bad, but just in terms of my mindset and how I think, because sometimes when a person breaks your spirits and 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 just kind of takes your soul, you you kind of put yourself in that in that in that seatbelt and, and buckle yourself up to be like I don't want to open up ever again. Because at the time, that person was the only person I opened up to. She knew all my secrets. She knew all my fears. She knew all my goals. Um, she just knew everything about me, just like I knew about her. And for me to start all over again, it was hard. I was still traumatized, I was still hurt. I was confused, I was I was betrayed. And I know everybody's been through it. And I hope that, you know, not for me that my age at 25, but anybody that's 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, that's going through this right now, like, it's okay to be hurt. It's, it's part of the faith. Um, I recommend you guys to talk to your friends, use your social media, Talk to your online friends, talk to your parents, go get some professional help. Like I wish I could have done that when I was younger. And one of the biggest mistakes was literally trying to alleviate my pain by hanging out with a lot of group of friends, which I, like I said, nothing but respect. I love all of you guys that I used to hang out with when I was younger. But at the time I needed just to be alone to reflect on what I wanted to do to proceed to the next, um, the next phase of my life. and. I impeded that by hanging out with the wrong crowd. Not all of them were wrong, were a bad crowd, but uh, you know, we wasn't doing things we were supposed to. But um, I just hated being alone at the time because I feel like being alone was bringing me back to those memories. Um, there was a time where I couldn't go to the movies no more. I couldn't go to the mall. I couldn't go to the, the, the carnivals in Staten Island because it reminded me of her. So my life was just thinking about, oh, I can't go here because that's where she used to go. Or I can't go here because it brings memories of her. And sometimes that, that does hurt. It haunts you for such a long time. But I started realizing that instead of focusing on the past, you just have to accept for what it is. And it took me three years to finally accept for what it is. And like I wasn't getting the person back. And 
um, I think that's when I started recovering. And little by little, it took me literally a couple of years to, to get myself straight, straightened out. But I feel like where I am today, I couldn't done it without her. So I want to start out by saying thank you for being there for me. Thank you for showing me what is love. Thank you for showing me how to care for somebody. Thank you for just being up and open with me. There was, like I said, no girl should deserve to, to be treated um, like what I did to them in terms of like not trusting them, not taking, like not giving them enough attention, not putting enough effort because at the end of the day, I take the blame from it. And I learn from it. You, you learn in life through trials and errors. It's just how you're going to learn from it. And there's, I know there's a lot of girls that probably had so much feelings for me, cared about me, and didn't expect this side of me. And, and old people ask me, dude, why you don't open up? Like, dude, why are you so serious, dude? Why you don't, why you not open up to people? Because, like, I was, I'm scared. Like I said, I'm scared because when you go through it once, you say to yourself, if I went through it once, the first, the first always stinks, right? So if it happens again multiple times, you say, ah, you deal with it, but. It's something that I try to avoid because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sucky feeling. It's, it's the worst feeling that you could imagine. But I'm learning to manage it. Um, you know, to, well, the way I overcame it, right? It was more like I accepted it. Um, I had to kind of figure out what was wrong with me. I was I was not in the best state of mind. I needed closure. And I didn't get that closure until like two years ago. You know, um, I don't want to say where, like, you know, how or where, but it was just weird. But I kind of just apologize to the person what I put them through because that person didn't deserve what I put them through and all the things that I used to do. And I feel like I had to say that for me to get the closure. And I did, and it felt good. But in a way, it was like a closing a chapter. Um, a closing a chapter, a long, long coming. And a lot of people say, how do you remember this? Because, fun fact, the only reason why I remember about the 10 years of, I ain't gonna say, but I'm just gonna say April 10, was because that's the same date that, the same date, but a different year. My parents got married on April 10th. So every time, um, you know, my parents have their anniversary, it kind of brings me back to those days. But now it's different. I, I look at it like, um, it was great memories, but it is what it is. It wasn't meant to be, and that's a fine. I'm okay with it because if I would have probably stayed with that person or if I would have, um, if, if things didn't happen the way it happened, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I wouldn't be talking to you guys, speaking about my experience. I wouldn't be vlogging. I wouldn't be traveling. I wouldn't be um, meeting a, a lot of amazing people. So sometimes we have to look, um, we got to look at the bad into a good. There's always a, a good side in, in every bad situation. And for anybody out there, don't be, don't be afraid um, be brave, open up, don't, don't be doing dumb things you shouldn't do because sometimes it's not worth it. You know, if the girl isn't giving you another chance or doesn't want to be with you or is just using you, like don't put yourself in that situation, not just for guys, but for, for females too, just don't put yourself in that situation. I mean, I know it sucks, you know, you're let down or you still feel like you have hopes, but like, don't, don't hurt yourself. Don't put yourself in that situation. Like I said, tell a friend. Don't hide everything to yourself because I don't want you guys to be where I was, just stuck and and, and all these thoughts and feelings was, was stuck inside of me and it affected me in the long run. So guys, please sh tell, like I said, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell a good friend of yours, you know, tell a teacher or just somebody you trust more, more than ever. You guys are not alone. Like I said, if I overcame it, you guys could definitely overcome it. Um, take this journey as something that is going to motivate you, inspire you to do different things. And for those that people are going to wonder, wow, he really opened up. It's not about me trying to prove a point, but it's more like, it's time, It's like I want to share the story with everybody. And it's a story that should be told because it's my story and people should kind of understand why I am the person I am today and, and why I act a certain way or why... I have certain personalities, so hopefully you guys never go through this. It's part of life. It's going to happen. Just like I always say, humble in victory, be humble in defeat. 
you guys are going to bounce back. Just be yourself, be confident, and the right person is going to come in your life. Don't force things. Uh, like I said, you can open up, open up, but always be cautious in what you say because um, you just may never know. But everybody, everybody deserves to be happy with somebody that they truly deserve to be. Like I said, fate has big plans for everybody. So anybody that's focused to be in a relationship right now because they're single, they're forcing to be want a family, want kids or whatnot, it's going to come. I promise you, it's, it's really going to come. It's just a matter of focusing on you, developing on yourself and being a better person and just focusing on your goals. And that, that f- the other half or the other companion of yours is, is, is going to find you. It's going to come to you. Um, so like I said, guys, I hope this video inspires you all. And for you guys to understand me a little bit more, fight one goose, fight one out. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to follow my sponsors. Drink RX Water. RX Water, let's go. Fight one out.